The surround with snippet command lets you surround the currently selected text with a snippet. This can be useful if you're wanting to wrap it in an expression or something like an if statement or a try catch, for example. Let's take a look at this command in a JavaScript file. So here I have a simple JavaScript function and say that I want to surround the function body here, so these two lines, with a try catch statement to handle any errors. I'll start with selecting the text that I actually want to surround. So I'll go and select the function body here. Then I'm going to open up the command palette with control shift P or command shift P and say surround with. I want the surround with snippet command here. And now you'll see a list of the available snippets that can be used for this. Now, the exact list of snippets that you're seeing is going to vary depending on what language you're working in and also what extensions you have installed because they might also contribute snippets. But here I'm looking at the default JavaScript and TypeScript snippets. I can just scroll through this list, look at all the different snippets I can use, and I can also start typing to filter things down. So in this case, I'll type try. I want the try catch statement here. So I'll hit enter to accept that. And you can see that VS Code has now gone and surrounded the selected lines we had with that snippet. At this point, I can tab through the snippet placeholders or just press escape or start editing somewhere else to actually continue on. So in this case, I'll just add a return zero here. And now we've handled that error. Now, as we just saw, there are a number of other surround with snippets available. So let me just go and select this line here, for example. And I'm going to run the same command again. So control shift P or command shift P and then say surround with snippet. And I could do something like a for loop. I could even do an if statement, if else statement here. So these type of things might speed up your coding. And again, the exact list of things you're going to see and the snippets that you can use is going to be varying depending on what language you're working in and the set of extensions you installed. So here's a if else statement. Again, it's making it very easy to go and just surround my existing statements with those conditionals. So that's the surround with snippet command in VS Code.